our mechanical department in presidency university is huge okay so it's going to be a uh, different parts of videos that we'll be covering in uh, todi presidency and you know we had covered the fluid measuring lab and the big superstar of course the the wind tunnel the lab was there and we have covered those labs and now for a different uh, you know section of 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 mechanical labs that we are in and we are in coordinate measuring machine lab for this we have uh, assistant professor mr sandeep who will be uh, you know joining us hi sandeep how are you yeah i'm good i'm good <laughs> yes yes so sandeep uh, first tell us how did you feel about the 80 acre campus that is more important and you came into <laughs> presence university from where where what was what was your background uh, i'm a um, machine i'm um, studied machine design okay. in uh, urc college and okay. uh, i came i joined four years okay. ago to presidency university the campus itself is very huge magnificent yes. and yes. Uh, you know very spacious even yeah. the labs you know they are very very spacious and uh, when once i came to uh, the university i was put in charge of uh, setting up this lab oh. that is a triple uh, triple m lab right. so there uh, you know the very spacious lab i thought i could bring uh, some equipment useful for the students and uh, you know also used for uh, research some uh, equipment which will be, which could be used for the research so i started this uh, setting up this lab from the scratch fantastic i i i see that i see that proudness in his eyes and that is so important <laughs> you know because to your your work uh, is is been shown and you know we have uh, one person who's kind of been the backbone of all that so sandeep yeah i was i was you know watching your eyes when you said that and i could see that proudness in your eyes that is more important and your work speaks so that that is really nice when you being the backbone of setting up such a big lab it was fantastic and and uh, what did what did uh, our beloved uh, chancellor tell you know when when you had put up the requests of all these equipments uh, <laughs> that was a yeah. challenge you should to convince your uh, yes. peers you know your head yes. head of the department then yes. uh, your uh, dean then yes. goes up to the chancellor yes. they were very courteous they were like why is this used for they were intuitive they were asking like why is this used for why do you need this how are the students benefited from yes. this it was very nice experience that yeah. going through all the process from the scratch uh, to how to showing how the student uh, to showing to the student how the each and equip, every equipment works very and where it is used in the industry uh, it was a really nice experience for the talking to the management side it was they helped a lot yes. Yes. See, you know what happens right see see because running from 40 years you know the presidency university it is it is such a successful uh, uh, you know educational institution and to do that of course they will ask so many questions for the welfare of the students right so that is why he you know was was so probably you know having all those questions and making sure the see as you said in the flow how are students benefiting out of it that is all and the whole motto of this video is that <laughs> so sandeep so what is that first equipment that you will be showing us uh this is a profile projector okay, okay. we have two ranges this okay. is providing a 10x kind of a zoom you can up, uh, zoom up to a uh, 0.02 mm millimeters uh, into the component so this is mainly used for uh, you know zooming into a uh, very small component like a tiny screw which is of m2 size m1 size right. or even very small gears okay. and to measure the distance between their uh, uh, the two threads okay. the addendum didendum depth so very minute size 0.02 mm uh, you can just zoom in and uh, look at Fantastic. the features the interior features right. of that and and of course the the cost of this would be like on an average uh, this one cost on 1.2 lakhs okay. 1.2 okay. lakhs right 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 no so because th th that's what i keep saying you know why we talk about the costs is because for the students to know you know right. how important this equipment becomes mm -hmm. you know because hands on experience is being given that is so important right and and uh, uh, after the profile projectors we do have we do have a lot of things in this lab a lot of things yes. yeah so this will be the next so one we yeah. have the uh, slip gauges one okay. from mitotoyo we bought uh, two boxes of that so okay. this uh, this itself cost like 2.5 lakhs each oh my god each set so each right. piece of it is uh, like cost around 8000 to 9000 Uh, rupees and this is very accurate very very accurate devices we keep them well oiled okay. you can see the grease also yes, online yes, 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 our yes. lab uh, instructors they keep it very well maintain it very yes, well yes. and uh, you know these are used like a subsidiary mm -hmm. for to carry out experiments um other than uh, you know uh, around 5 6 experiments these are used to carry out you know so sandeep we are mentioning about the uh, lab technicians also maintaining this how important of a role that do they play in really uh A huge role because uh, once we explain the theory theoretical part and uh, show them how the experiment is done mm. 
so they take over Correct. so they take over and they have to follow through what we have done so there is a transition taking place the theoretical to the practical the connection the okay. connection what they do is uh, their part and also maintaining all this equipment once the lab is done no yeah. they keep it neat and uh, you know they p- pack it neatly and put it inside the cupboard right. these are all precision equipment so they have yeah. to be done it then and there yeah. every day each and every day this has to be done yes, so yes. And, and and making sure for the video we have opened it and and kept it open uh, in the in the air and for the sunlight and uh, of course for for all these equipments that are there in your lab sandeep what is wh- wh- what do you think you know is is the superstar of your lab yeah our you superstar know? is there yeah, the 25 yeah. lakh uh, C- cmm right. mitotoyo machine right right yes right. that is the signature machine of our triple uh, m lab and also even the mechanical uh, mm. engineering lab so so just tell us on on layman terms what is what is this this equipment really used for and and what is what is the need uh, of of such a uh, you know costly equipment you have you have also given it a separate cabin yeah, you have a separate cabin <laughs> no i don't <laughs> but you have given the equipment i, I like that equipment. yeah yes, so yes, but this yes. is a very very highly accurate machine yes, it yes. measures up to 2 microns of accuracy okay. it's like uh, one one by 2000 uh, times the accuracy what you are getting is very 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 accurate right. uh, uh, machine uh-huh. and it is used in uh, you know aerospace companies in and um, okay. uh, automobile companies right. to make very precise uh, measurements and also uh-huh. uh, you know make um, this uh, what do you say calibration okay. i was talking calibration means we use this machine to calibrate the other uh, equipment other oh. machines other devices and right. we are talking right. about now industry 4.0 and all right. Right? so this machine mm-hmm. it's like uh, it it gives you a cad model mm-hmm. so along mm-hmm. with this machine so it is there is a software connected to it uh, from uh, the mitotoy itself it's called the m cosmos okay so if you have any part no we can just okay. uh, put it on that and we can uh, you know do a reverse engineering kind of a thing So it just uh, gives some key points, and uh, the software it models a 3D okay. uh, model and gives you that okay. uh, 3D model further for further post processing. Like um, maybe you want to replicate that product. What are the dimensions? You now you don't need to do that once again in the, in a CAD kind of environment. Okay. And this okay. is it gives a very realistic uh, you know picture yeah, because of its and accuracy the, and, the, and the and the proper digital print that that yeah, will be getting. proper di- correct yes, correct yes. perfect. So 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 the whole equipment. you know of of getting it in here placing it and running it just take us through that process because it is it is it is an experience that you need to share <laughs> it is it was a huge experience yes, this yes. this machine no it was like a one and a half ton machine oh. and you see this is kept on the first floor yeah this is kept on the first floor not on the ground floor yeah. so this granite plate which you see very accurate up to a we call it a three triangle finish okay, in okay. in engineering terms okay. so it is very smooth very you know soft and all and these are uh, fully floating uh-huh. you you may have the term like walking on thin air uh-huh. Uh-huh. these are literally walking on thin air wow because they are these are all floating okay so the parts here okay. they are all suspended by air bearings right, right, so when you right. make the movements no uh-huh. so when you are making these movements you can see they are noiseless right they are absolutely noiseless yes. so they are like floating on air they are run by air bearings wow that's why there is a constant supply of the compressed air and they are uh, literally oh, floating okay 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 yeah. so so this doesn't utilize uh, more of the there's power no, there's no friction ah, 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 there's no absolutely no friction super so so you know just on the funny lines yeah. okay <laughs> minute details if 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 we can if we can say for example uh, say for example put out put out this ring there and measure this can it can it give a, a proper reading yeah, exactly My up God, to i was, I was thinking on funny lines but it's actually true it is actually true yes oh god so it can measure any any, any feature all the features what you have on this ring okay. i can put it on the computer i can replicate it wow. i can create a 3d model of it oh wow that is awesome yeah. then no wonder it weighs one and a half tons <laughs> super who bought it on the first floor <laughs> uh it was the crane actually but i i i, I supervised the thing i along with my hod and uh, uh, the supervisors you know i the instructors we bought it through a mm. big gate over there you can see right right, right. and the shutter, the shutter, uh, the shutter we yes, through yes. a crane we hooked everything very, very delicate machine we yeah. gave packing like anything and yeah. then 
ho- hoisted it Correct. it was uh, <laughs> it was an experience it was an experience actually no, that, that's why that's why i was asking for that because he uh, you know yarade den kadi beku andru kuda somebody wants to rob it he has to get a crane he has to get a crane <laughs> he has to get a crane <laughs> superb no 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 touch wood that you know it's all fantastically done and it is superb and uh, you know just just on the video if if something uh, uh, i feel really nice and beautiful uh, you know i take the nazar drushti take it nang sulpa abhyasa padte if you don't mind can you play take please take the drushti of it me yeah <laughs> because oh. it's your lab yeah please go ahead do that correct you're right yeah. there we go <laughs> Ah, you hear the sound. That's the sound. That's the sound that's come out from 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 you know Sandeep's fingers. Really fantastic, and and you know uh, students uh, getting to know this itself gives them so much confidence. Alva, when they go out uh, and talking about Industry 4.0 and all that, mm-hmm. that gives them so much confidence on the hands-on job training. Right. right. Correct. You're right. So we have a course also, value-added courses we are offering to the students right. uh, at a free of cost. We are bringing students. uh because of the covid time we were only able to play the videos and how right. to operate this on a video basis but once they are here they can definitely use this machine we are providing them certificate courses like hands on cmm training is provided and they are certified in uh, using a cmm many mediums to small uh, large scale industries anywhere throughout the world all uh, companies like volvo mercedes they have these equipment definitely this will be there in right. their in their office so if you have a train certificate on the cmm no it would awesome. it will provide you as an entry yeah. it act will act as an entry gate for him yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. superb superb uh, sandeep fantastic to know about your lab and and you may keep uh, bringing such big equipments in future also to our university and and you know hope hope uh, everything goes f- well and fine mm-hmm. and one word uh, to to all the students that they are interested to take up this course mm-hmm. and of course make money in their life <laughs> <laughs> how is how is how is what are you going to tell tell to those students uh to take up this yes how, how about your course how about the course that that we are trying to put up uh, from your lab and and how is how is that helpful of course you told in which companies they can be you know appointed and all okay, that okay. yeah so yeah industry 4.0 is coming you know iot devices are coming integrated with these right, uh, right. huge machines so automating this uh you need to know what this is first right. you know you need to know how to operate the machine and uh, you know you can integrate this yeah. means remotely you can make measurements you can sit in an office maybe hundreds of uh, yeah. kilometers away and yeah. you can hook this up use the software and get to know what the intricate details are you yeah. don't need to ask anybody that who's there and all you yeah. can completely lock this room yeah. you can operate this machine right but but uh, for students practicals won't happen like that <laughs> no, no, that definitely not <laughs> right, right superb sandeep thank you so much for your time and patience and thanks a lot and please keep watching more videos on our presence university's youtube channel we will be putting out more stuff thank you thank you so much thank you sandeep thank you